The Kentucky Wildcats went to Florida, and I'm going to tell you, at the end of the night, as they say in Lexington, they were partying like it's 1987, trying to do their best imitation of Morgantown. Instead of burning couches, they were a little safer. They decided to turn over cars. The place went crazy because the Kentucky Wildcats went to Gainesville and took care of business. Both you gentlemen picked Florida, so that game is a press. We're going to push that one off as well. So, Mark. Talk about Benny Snell, Mark Stoops, and those UK Wildcats in Gainesville. But first of all, I want to talk to the Kentucky fans. Act like you've been there. Oh, that's right. This is the first time in 32 games that you finally beat Florida. You haven't been there. Second thing is, Kenny Snell Jr. did a terrific job running the football, 175 yards in this game. They had another running back rush over 100. They were physical up front. They got the job done. But what impressed me the most is they finished out the game in the second half, Coach. Mark Stoops had this team ready at halftime adjustments. I talk about that all the time. They went out and they punished Florida in the second half physically and just beat them into the ground, and they outscored them 20-6 to six in the second half. And if you want to destroy an opponent, that's what you do. You crush them with the run, you run the football effectively, and you continue to move the chain and eat the clock and put points on the board. That's what they did in the second half. That's why they had success against the Gators. I was very impressed with Snell and the job he did. As I say, Kentucky looked like an SEC team, Mark. But you know, when every time somebody wins, obviously somebody loses. How about Dan Ballin at Florida? You know, after the opening game, everybody in the state of Florida talked about how great they're going to be and maybe they're going to compete with George and everything else and how great Frank is. But, Mark, this wasn't the same great defense that we're used to seeing in Florida, but basically the same style offense. So maybe it's not going to be as quick a turnaround for Florida as uh, Dan Ballin once thought, but he's still a great football coach. He'll get it done. But, boy, what a great win for Kentucky. Well, gentlemen, on Kentucky, um, our Kentucky legend, um, Rex Chapman, he was with us last week. Well, he's with us again, and he's got a little message for you, a little video to show you, gentlemen, and uh, just kind of ask you. He has a question for you about what do you think about those Wildcats? Show him that video in studio, gentlemen. Coach, Mark, it's Rex Chapman again this week. You guys called me a comedian last week for picking my Wildcats over the Gators. Did this basketball guy just get one over on the football guys? I got lucky, but I'm dying to know, dying to know, can my Wildcats make some noise in the SEC this year? I'm dying to get your take on this. Please. Oh, they're going to make a lot of noise, uh, Rex. That was a great win, but let's remember this. They're in the same division as Georgia, and then they're going to have to play Alabama if they do get by Georgia. So enjoy the win. I think it was great. You'll have several more coming on, but you aren't going to win the Eastern Division, and you aren't going to win the SEC Championship. Hey, Rex, even a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. You got lucky. Enjoy it. Go out and turn over cars for this week. But guess what? You're not going to win the SEC East. You'll be lucky to finish third. You still have Texas A&M, Mississippi State, Missouri, and not only that, Georgia you've got to play. So I don't think there's a chance you'll be seeing yourself in the SEC Championship game in Atlanta anytime soon. Well, this show's producer. However, Go, Coach. I just want to say congratulations, Rex. That was a great call, and obviously that was done with your mind as well as your heart. Well, this show's producer, Scott Hall, is a former walk-on University of Kentucky offensive lineman. So whenever we can root for the Cats, we're going to do so. Now, that leads us to our next game.